Well, uh, what's going on, everybody? We're out here. We're doing something a little bit new. I've been recommended a ton to play Persona, and I'm curious to how this game is gonna go. Um, I've never played a game like this that I know of. Again, I have not really looked into this. This is like completely blind AF. So we're gonna figure out what's going on. It says load game and return to Inaba, but I, I don't even know what that is. So um, obviously I can't go to a place I don't know. Um, so let's go on, let's, uh, let's figure this out. So supposedly you can connect to the internet to access new functions in Persona 4 Golden. Would you like to know more? Is this a good idea? No. I, I'll, I will play... Ooh. Oh, can I not select? Oh, there we go. Okay. So, we have easy for those who are less confident in their skills. Okay, no, that's fine. Um, this is a best balance to, of difficulty and enjoyment. Please experience the tension. Um, this is for... The confident battles are more challenging, and you'll experience severe gameplay. Or do you hate yourself, or are you supremely self-confident? This difficulty requires strength, or requires a strength of heart, and never gives in. That sounds interesting to me, but I won't do that to myself. This is completely blind. Um, so I have no idea what I'm getting into. So I'm gonna go ahead and go with hard, because. If this is a strategy-based game, I think I'll be okay. I don't want to do normal because I don't want it to be, like, super easy or anything. So, um, the people who recommended this game to me is, are probably like, what are you doing? You are really screwing yourself over. But the reason why I didn't want to have background commentary was so I made my own decisions for the beginning of the game. Oh, my God. I can't believe I'm doing this. You can change the difficulty from the system. Oh, you can literally just change it at will. That's kind of sad. But... Like, it's a good feature, but it just, like, this whole decision just makes no point. Okay, we'll start at hard difficulty. It's fine. Um, well, relax and have fun with the game. Okay, well, uh, uh, relaxing. That's great. Characters, arts, and storylines depicted in this game are purely a work of fiction. Okay. Obviously. Um, that's how this works. Okay. We're in a... I don't know what car that is. I was gonna say we're in a Jeep. That's clearly not a Jeep. What is whatever that car is? It's whatever. We got the tires. Okay. I'm assuming maybe that was a bad chick, but I'm not sure. Just with the music that's playing in the background, that's what I would guess. To the there we go. Yep. Okay. I'm gonna turn this up so you guys can hear the music a little bit better, because like that's the only reason I was able to gather what I needed to gather there. Oh my god, but the music is actually really good. Oh wait, maybe it's not. Ah, it seems we have a guest with an intriguing destiny. <laughs> my name is Igor. Oh, typical villain name. Okay. To make your acquaintance. <laughs> this place exists between dream and reality. Mind <coughs> and matter. Oh, okay. It is a room that only those who are bound by a contract may enter. So that's why you have the chick next to you, because you would never get her it otherwise. <laughs> that such a fate awaits you in the near future. Now then, why don't you introduce yourself? Enter. What? I spelled that wrong, probably, but whatever. That button. Okay. Oh, I can. I keep looking up at this screen, thinking that like, okay, this screen is the the screen I need to look at. No, no, no. I can literally look at this and know what I'm doing. But whatever, it's fine. I don't. I don't. Hmm. Don't need to make things more I complicated. See. Now, let's take a look into your future. I feel like this is a bad idea, but okay. 
Do you believe in fortune telling? Oh no, the cards. Uh, oh my gosh. Each reading is done with the same cards, yet the result is always different. Yeah. The <laughs> life itself. I actually have experience with these cards, so like. Oh, I don't even get to choose? I don't even get to choose? That makes me sad. I wanted to choose mm -hmm. my cards. The tower uh. in the upright position represents the immediate future. It seems a terrible catastrophe is im. The card indicating the future beyond that is... It's probably also going to be bad because you're a villain. The moon in the upright position. This card represents hesitation and mystery. Very interesting indeed. It seems you will encounter a misfortune at yep. your destination, and a great mystery will be imposed upon you. In the coming days, you will enter into a contract of some sort, after which you will return here. The coming year is a turning point in your destiny. If the mystery goes unsolved, your future may be forever lost. My duty is to provide assistance to our guests to ensure that does not happen. Again, I have no trust or faith in oh, this dude. I have neglected to introduce my assistant Yeah, the to one you would never get unless you got him in the fantasy world, so... This uh... is Margaret. She is a resident of this place, like myself. Can't, can't Margaret talk? There my we go. name is Margaret. <laughs> I am here to accompany you through your journey. <clears throat> okay, maybe you're not villain? We shall attend to the details. You just another feel time. you have Bill and vibes, okay? Until then, farewell. You have you just you you exude them villain vibes, and I like to say, like, do I want to work with you? No, but like, am I gonna have to? What the heck is going on? <laughs> what in the world? Slim down this summer with the refreshing taste of calorie magic. <laughs> okay. Now on to some juicy news. <laughs> the Mayumi oh my Yamano scandal. I'm sure everyone is eating. Yeah, first he bags a singer, then he has an affair with a TV announcer on the side. Do chicks really dig politicians? Isn't it just <laughs> like money and connections? When you get down to it, financial and political <laughs> cloud is what matters. Hey, what is that supposed to mean? <laughs> hey, what do you think? Oh my god, yes. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, this is what we're getting to. This is gonna be great. Okay. Well, I'm sure that you all know already, but at the end of this month, he will be transferring to another school. No, Shysel, don't leave me. Quiet down, guys. You're not allowed to go to another school. Not, not uh, never, never allowed. I watch that be my player character, but whatever, it's, it's okay. We will arrive at the Yasugami terminal in a few minutes. Passengers headed for Inaba City and Yaso Inaba Station. Please go to the other side of the platform. Time. So that's why I said return to this place if I was going to load the game because I literally hadn't started. Okay. The scandal involves the Enka star Misuzu Hiragi preparing to tour overseas. Taro Namatame, a council secretary in the Inaba region whom she married just last year, is now under suspicion of having an affair. What's more, his rumored mistress is the well-known TV oh, announcer. Ms. Should Mayumi we go Yama's soon? Kind of yeah, it's just about. The question on everyone's minds is how this love triangle will affect... Oh boy. So it is our player character confirmed. Okay, naturally, because I didn't just. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yaso Inaba. Yaso Inaba. 
what are we staring at? We'll figure out what we're staring at, probably. I'm gonna ask, sorry, I'm gonna ask like 800 questions, and I guess that's kind of the point of this game. It is November 4th in the afternoon time. Wow, our hey, player character. Over here. Well, you're more handsome in person than in your photo. Dang, Welcome but to also Eva. understandable. I'm Ryotaro Dojima. I'll be looking after you. Let's see. I'm your mother's younger brother, and that about sums it up. Mother's younger brother. So then this is my uncle? Huh. You probably don't remember, but we've met. I've changed your diapers before, you know? This here's my daughter. Come on, Nanako. Family Introduce reunion time. <laughs> hello. She didn't even say hello. She's just like, okay, <laughs> bye. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> well then, let's get going. My car is over there. Yep, let's get into your car. Oh, there's another kid. Uh-oh. Hey. Unfriendly looking girl. But she just helped pick up my paper. It's fine. Whatever. All I did was pick it up. It's the note you made for yourself with Doji must address. What's wrong? Okay, but like also can we not like can we not investigate the girl? I kind of want to know. Like, she looks like she'd be like a super strong person to my team. So, if I even, yeah. Okay. Like, if that even matters, it probably doesn't, but. Mo, what is that? Moel? Shopping district gas station. Why are we going to the gas station? This is not a good idea. Hi, welcome to Moel. Oh, please do not tell me that you are going to pump my gas for me. No, we are not having this. Can you go to the bathroom by yourself? What? <laughs> uh huh. Oh. <laughs> that was just a weird out of context question, but fine, it's okay. Wait, are, oh, no, we're not driving. Never mind. It's other side, other side, other side. I forgot, I forgot, I forgot. Okay. What's in the back to your left? You know which way is left? The side you don't hold your chopsticks in. I know. Jeez. Are you taking a trip? Okay, one, as a tall individual, or a tall-ish individual in here, why are we sitting next to the tall person that's driving? Like, are we not 13 plus in this game? Or did this little six-year-old just get shotgun priority over us? Because if that's the case, then no, I don't like the little girl anymore. He just moved here from the big city. A city, huh? Fill up my car while you're at it. Regular's fine. Right away, sir. Oh my gosh, no. He is gonna fill up our gas for us. No. For a no. <laughs> oh, that's a Are you in high for school? me. Oh my god. <laughs> that shouldn't be what it totally is. Ah! <laughs> like, like, let me control my gas pump, please. I want to know what's going into my car. Like, I get that they, like, are, like, you you ask them to fill it up with regular, right? And, you know, you're like, they know what that is, right? Yeah, that's fine. It's more of a sense of control thing, okay? That's really what it is. <laughs> oh, no. No. Yes, we are. Does it surprise a city boy to see how little there is out here? There's so little to do. I'm sure you'll get bored fast. You'll either be hanging out with your friends or <clears throat> doing part-time jobs. Speaking of which, we're actually looking for part-time help right now. Give it some thought, why don't you? We don't mind if you're a student. Oh, I should get back to work. Oh my god. Okay, also I like how I probably peaked my mic with that freaking conversation that I just had, but it's okay. Okay. Nanako's looking at us weirdly. Okay. Are you okay? Oh, Nanako. Did you get car sick? 
You don't look too good. Yeah, because you took shotgun priority, little lady. What's wrong? You okay? That's understandable. It must have been a long trip for you. Why not take a little walk? Get some fresh air. Just let me know when you're ready to go. Examine the blue butterfly to save your progress. Okay. Woo! Um, have we met before? Okay, so what do we get access to? Like, okay, we can't. This is a bookstore, it's empty. You decide not to enter. Okay, can we go in here? Old woman is tending to the store. We're not able to go into any of these stores. What the heck? Can I not go in? I want to talk to the friendly old lady, though. I want to explore. Am I just not allowed to? Oh, am I, like... I'm actually blocked off. Okay. So I guess we have to carry on forth. Can I talk to them? Okay. I guess... It was this, like, supposed to... What was this supposed to be, exactly? Lazy student. The next bus isn't going to come for a while, and if you miss a, one bus, you're pretty much screwed. If only I had a motorbike, I could go anywhere I wanted. I wonder how much they cost. Maybe I'll be able to buy one myself. Well, um, okay. Well, I guess you want to go somewhere. How are you feeling? Ready to go back in the car? Yeah. During events, press the backlog button to see the log and skip event button to skip an event entirely. Okay. I mean, do we have to do that? We probably will. Like, let, this is probably one of those games where if you die, you have to see everything again. I could imagine that. You arrive at Dojima's residence. For the next year, this place will be your home. Okay. Why are we... Why did we wander off in the first place, though? All right. Let's have a toast. So, your mom and dad are busy as always. They're working overseas, was it? I know it's only for a year, but getting stuck in a place like this because of your parents? That's rough. Well, it's just me and Nanako here, so it'll be nice having someone like you around. Okay. So long as you're here, you're part of the family. So make yourself at home. <laughs> Come on. There's no need to be so formal. <laughs> Look, you're making Nanako all tense. Well, anyway, let's eat. Oh, who's calling at this hour? Dojima speaking. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I see. So where is... Uh-huh. All right, I'm on my... Looks like I made the right choice to skip the booze. Sorry, but I gotta go take care of some business. Go ahead and eat without me. I don't know how late I'll be. Nanako, you help him out, okay? Okay. Aw. Nanako, it's raining out. What did you do with the laundry? I already brought it in. All right. Well, I'm off. Are we gonna, like, huh? 
There's kind of a lot going on. For this week. Next, let's take a look at the hourly breakdown of tomorrow's weather. They get a whole hourly break though down. In from the west, expect rain throughout the day tomorrow in most areas. Let's eat. It's always like this. My dad's a detective. And now for the local news. City Council Secretary Taro Namatame is under fire for an alleged relationship with a female reporter. Oh my. His wife, Enka Ballad sensation Misuzu Haragi, revealed to this station that she will likely pursue damages. Understandable. Response, you get it, girl. My television has decided to cancel all of announcer Mayumi Yamano's televised appearances. <laughs> oh, cancel culture at its Until finest. allegations of an affair with Mr. Namatame are resolved, she'll remain off the air and out of the public eye. This is boring. At Juness, every day is Customer Appreciation Day. Come see for yourself and get in touch with our products. Every day's great at your Juness. Every day's great at your Juness. Aren't you going to eat? You can save the game by using the calendar in the living room. Okay. <clears throat> so I just go like this, and it saves. Okay. There you go. This is the room that you're borrowing. Okay. Do I can I unpack the room? What can I do with the room? You should rest. Not just say the new day. You'll be living in this town for one year starting today. You wonder if everything will be alright. School starts tomorrow. You should hurry to bed. Oh, we have school. Okay. How is that gonna go? Probably great. Oh. I was joking and not meaning to say that completely sarcastically. Area covered in thick fog. All you can do right now is proceed forward. This usually doesn't end well in games. Oh boy. This is usually never a good thing. Walk forward and proceed to die. This is basically what this game is telling us right now. Do you seek the truth? No. I don't want to know what's going on right now. But I have to, so we're doing it. If the truth is what you desire, come and find me. You hear the voice from far up ahead. Okay, is it this? You sent somebody ahead. Will you continue? I got to. I have a feeling saying no would just do nothing for me. Oh, boy. Is this our first battle? So you are the one pursuing me. Hmm. Try all you like. Uh, I'm gonna guard. Seems you can see little despite the fog. I see indeed. This is very interesting information. Okay. Um, okay. 
didn't really get to do much there. Breakfast ready. Good morning. I feel like you should have already been. Okay, let's eat. There was some kind of trouble. You won't be back. You're starting school today, right? My school's on the way, so let's go together. Okay. There's a lot of like You keep going straight from here. My school's this way. Bye. Bye, Nautico. Why did you go We were walking this We were walking this way and then she proceeds to go that way. Did we pass her school? We must have passed her school if she proceeded to go the other direction. School's at an intersection in front of the school. Okay. So now it's telling us where we are. Oh, he's gonna fall into the dumpster. Yup. Freaking called it. Did he? Did he do something that we don't need to know? We just walked right by him, didn't even ask him a question. We didn't ask him, hey, are you okay? Like, what's going on? What can I do to help? N none of that. We just were like, gotta go to school. We didn't have any care for that man. I feel bad. I would have at least asked him if I had the choice if he was okay. Then again, I guess that's saying, like, and showing that, hey, I paid attention, and so, like, I saw the whole thing, which could be embarrassing. Talk about bad luck. The homeroom teacher here is Morooka, isn't it? Yeah, it's King Moron, all right. We get to enjoy his long-ass sermons every day for a whole year. Hey, you guys, I heard there's going to be a transfer student from the city in this class. Huh? Really? A guy or a girl? A transfer student from the city? Just like you, huh, Yosuke? Huh? You look dead today. Yeah, um, I don't want to talk about it. What's with him? Who knows? We don't get, like, the names of any of these people yet. We'll find out later. All right, shut your traps. I'm Kinshiro Moraoka, your homeroom teacher from today forward. First things first. Just because it's spring doesn't mean you can swoon over each other like love-struck baboons. Long as I'm around, you students are going to be pure as the driven snow. Now, I hate wasting my time, but I'd better introduce this transfer student. This sad sack's been thrown from the big city out to the middle of nowhere like yesterday's garbage. And he's just as much of a loser here as he was there. So you girls better not get any ideas about hitting on him. Tell him your name, kid, and make it quick. What's that look you're giving that girl back there by the window? You thought I wouldn't notice? Now listen up! This town is miles away from your big city of perverts and assholes in more ways than one. You better not even think of getting involved with the girls here, let alone abusing them. But what do I oh know? My God, okay. It's not like the old days. Even here, kids grow up so damn fast. Every time I turn my back, you're fooling around on those damn phones, checking your life journals and your my places. Excuse me, is it okay if the transfer student sits here? Huh? Yeah, sure. You hear that? Your seat's over there, so hurry up and sit down. Jeez Louise, this teacher is, like, actually ridiculous. I would literally already have freaked out on him. He's the worst, huh? Rotten luck for you to get stuck in this class. Well, we just have to hang in there for a year. Sucks to be the transfer student, ending up in King Moron's class on the first morning here. Yeah, he won't think twice about suspending you if you get on his bad side. And then again, we're all in the same boat. Shut your traps! I'm taking roll, and I damn well expect you to respond in an orderly manner.
Huh. There's so much going on, but like also it's like there's so much, but also nothing at the same time right now. That's all for today. Normal lectures will start tomorrow. Attention, all teachers. Please report immediately to the faculty office for a brief staff meeting. All students must return to their classrooms and are not to leave the school until further notice. Ugh. You heard the announcement. Don't go anywhere until you hear otherwise. Wait, it's after school? Wait, we had a whole... Did She's we have a... seriously getting on my nerves. We had the whole school here in here? I thought we were in a high... I can't see a damn thing. Yeah, like every time it rains lately, it gets all foggy. Hey, did you hear? I hear that paparazzi's looking all over for that announcer. Oh, yeah. You mean Mayumi Yamano, right? I heard some guy spotted her. Rumor, rumor loving student. Actually, don't don't I trust heard him. That. Are you serious? Hey, hey Yukiko san. Mind if I ask you something? Is it true that announcer staying at your family's inn? I can't discuss such things. Yeah, I guess not. How much longer is this gonna take? There's no telling. I should have left before the announcement came on. By the way, did you try what I told you the other day? Did ya? Just seeing did ya is like the, the weirdest thing ever. Like that. You know, that thing about rainy nights. Oh, no, not yet. Sorry. Okay. First impressions. Currently, I I do want the girl in the red jacket. Like. As far, and I mean this as like, I think that if if this game is what I've been told this game is, that she'd be powerful it's in the just, game. I heard a guy in the class next door yell something like, "My soulmate is Yamino, the announcer." Attention, all st there has been an incident inside the school district. Police officers have been dispatched around the school zone. Please stay calm and contact your parents or guardians as soon as possible, and quickly leave the school grounds. Do not disturb the police officers. Head directly home. I repeat. Incident? What? Something actually happened? Come on, let's go take a look. They're literally doing the exact opposite of what they said. Okay. I mean, I'm a typical teenager, right? Like, that makes sense, but... Are you going home by yourself? Why don't you come with us? Oh, nearly forgot. I'm Chie Satonaka. You know, I sit next to you, right? Well, nice to meet you. This is Yukiko Amagi. Oh, nice to meet you. I'm sorry that this is so sudden. Come on, don't apologize like that. It makes me look like I got no upbringing. I just wanted to ask some stuff, really. That's all. Oh, we're forced to walk with them. Okay, we don't have a choice. Uh, um, Miss Satanaka. This was really awesome. Like, the way they moved was just... Amazing to see. And I'm really sorry. It was an accident. Please just have mercy until my next paycheck. Okay. See ya. Thanks. Stop right there. What did you do to my DVD? Ah! What the? I can't believe this. It's completely cracked. Oh, my trial of the dragon. I think mine's cracked too. Critical hit to the nads. Uh, are you all right? Oh, Yukiko-san. Are you worried about me? He's fine, Yukiko. Let's ditch him and go home. We don't have the uh, again. More not having the options to actually do things. He looks like he's in a lot of pain. You should leave him be. Why? Uh, like. That's just so against my nature that I'm like, what is going on? You're Yuki, right? Y you want to go hang out somewhere? I don't trust you. Who, who? What's up with him? What school's he from? Never mind that. 
He's going for Yukiko-san? Man, you'd think he'd at least wait until she's alone to make his move. I bet you a can of tap he gets knocked out. <laughs> no bet. Haven't you heard how difficult the Amagi challenge is? Uh, so, uh, are you coming or not? I, I'm not going. Fine! Well, what did he want from me? What did he want? Uh, obviously he was asking you out on a date. Huh? Really? You really had no clue? Sheesh. But then again, that was way over the top. It was creepy how he called you Yuki all of a sudden. Uh-huh. Yo, Yukiko-san. Turned down another lovelorn fool, huh? Man, you're cruel. You got me the same way last year. I don't recall doing that. Oh, are you serious? So then you want to hang out sometime? I'd rather not. That'll teach me to get my hopes up. Anyways, you two better not pick on the transfer student too much. We still we have not seen his name. Um, I'm sorry for dragging you into this. Come on, let's go. Everyone's staring. <laughs> She's just like constantly worried, and I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. Also, we're going to get, like, a bunch of questions, and I don't know how to feel about that. Oh. So you came here because of your parents' job? <laughs> I thought it was something way get... more serious. Wait, why are we not getting the chance to answer questions? There like... really is nothing here, huh? That's what makes it nice. But there is nothing much we can show to people from outside. Though there is something from Mount Yasagami. I think our dyed clothes or pottery or something is... Oh, wait! And there's the Amagi Inn! Yukiko's family runs it. It's the pride of Inaba. Huh? It's just an old inn. No way! It's been in all sorts of magazines as a hidden treasure! It's a great inn. It's been going for generations, and Yukiko here is gonna take over someday. Their inn actually attracts a lot of visitors to Inaba. It pretty much keeps this town going. I don't think that's entirely true. So, tell me. You think Yukiko's cute, huh? Oh, see, now we're going to have to answer questions. I pro Okay. I'm going to answer this honestly. I probably wouldn't say something on the spot like that. Whoa! Are you blushing? <laughs> Come on. Don't start this again. She's really popular at school, but she's never had a boyfriend. Kind of weird, huh? Come on, stop it. Y you shouldn't believe that, okay? It's not true that I'm popular or that I've never had a boyfriend. Wait, no, no, no. What I meant to say was I, I don't need a boyfriend. Jeez, Chie. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. But this is our chance to talk to someone from the big city. And you barely said a word. Hey, that's what's not a problem. That? I don't have a problem with that, actually. No. So that high schooler left school early, and as she came down this street. Wow, who could imagine that hanging from an antenna? I wanted to see it too. Oh, you got here too late. The police and fire department took it down just a moment ago. Well, I think it's terrifying. I can't believe a dead body showed up around here. Wait, what did she just say? A dead body? Hey, what are you doing here? I should have figured that had happened. That damn principal. We told him not to let them through here. You know this guy? I'm Detective Dojima, his guardian. Uh, well, how should I say this? I hope you get along with him. But you three really ought to stop wandering around and head straight home. A 
Dachi. How long are you going to act like a rookie? You want to be sent back to the central office? I'm sorry. <clears throat> oh, go wash your face. We're going to... Cam. I actually thought he was like a student, so the fact that he's was not... Was this what that announcement was about? What do they mean it was hanging from the antenna? Hey, Yukiko. Why don't we go to Juness some other time? Good idea. All right, then. We're taking off. Starting tomorrow, neighbor, let's do our best. Okay. Yeah, we shouldn't have been here in the first place. I don't know why we decided to go here. Okay, so now we have a bunch of different places to go that we have the opportunity to go to. So this is actually a good spot to, I think, leave off here. Um, we're going to go to the Dojimu Residence, save, and we will see you guys next time. Um, <laughs>